In this video, we are going to discuss the FIFO page replacement algorithm. FIFO stands for first in, first out. And this is the simplest page replacement algorithm. What it does is that with each page that is brought into the memory, into the main memory from the hard disk, a time unit is associated. So the time at which that page was brought into the memory is also maintained. And whenever a page has to be replaced to bring in a new page and if the free frames are not available, then the time with the page which is the oldest that is chosen as the victim frame. So what is a victim frame? You can check my video on page replacement algorithm earlier. Now oldest page is the one, the page which had been brought in first. We can also rather than keeping track of the time, we can also create a FIFO queue to hold all the pages in the memory and we will replace the page which was at the head of the queue because that was brought in first. And when a page is brought newly into the memory, we insert it at the tail of the queue. So this is also another way of implementing FIFO page replacement algorithm. Let us see how this algorithm works by taking a example reference string. This reference string shows the way or the manner in which or the order in which the pages were requested by the processor. So page 7 means re is referring to logical page 7. So let's say if the page size is of 100 bytes that means each page is containing 100 bytes. So if this is the logical address space if this is page 0 so 0 to 99 will be in page 0 if this is page 1 then 100 to 199 would be in page 1 and so on. So any address which is between 0 and 99 will be in page 0. Any address between 100 and 199 will be in logical page 1. So when we are saying that the reference string is this that means some address which is lying in page 7 is being referred to. Similarly if there is some if there is a reference to page 2 that means an address which is lying in page 2 has been requested for by the processor. So if this is the reference string and if the main memory has only 3 frames let us count the number of page faults. So first there is a reference for page 7 we are assuming that all the frames are initially available. So let's say page 7 has been put in frame 0. So we are saying that this is the frame number 0, 1 and 2 because there are 3 frames. So let's say 7 has been put in frame 0. So this was a page fault. I am indicating that page fault by this arrow. So this was a page fault because it was not available in the main memory and it was brought from the disk to the frame. So this is a page fault. Again there is a reference to page 2. Again we can see that it is not available in the memory so this is a page fault again and now 2 has been brought into the memory and put in frame 1. Now the reference is for page 3. Again it is not in the memory so it is brought in the frame and put in frame 2. So again this is a page fault. Now comes a reference for page 1. Page 1 is not in the memory so again it is a page fault. Now this is we are following the first in first out algorithm. So we will see which out of the initial frames which are currently in the main memory which was the frame which was which was the page that was brought in earliest. We, we can see that 7 is the page which was brought in earliest. If we just look back from here 7 was the page which was brought in first. So 7 will be replaced, 7 will be the victim frame and 1 will be brought in place of page number 7. So now 1 has been put in frame 0. Again there is a reference to page 2. Now page 2 we see is already there in the memory. So this is a hit. This is not a page fault. Then there is a reference to page 5. Now out of the pages which are there, 1, 2 and 3, which one was brought in earlier? So 1 is we know that if there is a reference to page 5 it is not there in the memory so this is a page fault. 
Now out of 1, 2 and 3, if we see, if we look at these 3 pages, 1, 2 and 3, we can see easily that 2 was the one which was brought in the earliest. So that means 2 will be replaced. So 1, 5 and 3, this is the new status of the memory. Next reference is for 3 which is already there in the memory. So this is a hit. Next reference is for 4. If we look at pages 1, 5 and 3, so we can see that 3 was brought here, then 5 was brought and 1 was brought here. So out of these 3, we can see that 3 is the page that has to be replaced. So now 4 will be put in place of page 3. So it becomes 1, 5 and 4. Now 4 also caused a page fault. Reference is now for 6. Again 6 is not there. So 6 again causes a page fault. So where will 6 be put? If you look at when these pages were brought, we have 1, 5 and 4. So 4 was brought here, 5 was brought here. Whenever there was a page fault for that particular page, you can check those times. 1 was brought here, 1 was the earliest page to be brought in. So 6 will be put here in place of 1, 6, 5 and 4. Again 7. Now if we look for 7, it is a page fault again because it is not there in the memory. Now we look at pages when they were brought. So 6 has been brought here, 4 has been brought here, 5 has been brought here. So that means 5 will be replaced by 7. So 6, 7 and 4. Again there is a reference to 7. So this is a hit. So we do not do anything. Now there is a reference for 1. So let's see which page will be replaced. We have pages 6, 7 and 4. So let's see when they were brought in. It was 7 was brought here, 6 was brought here, 4 was brought here. So 4 has to be replaced by 1 and 1 has caused this page fault. So 6, 7 and 1. Next reference is for 0. So 0 is again causing a page fault. What are the pages? 1, 7 and 6. 1 has been brought here, 7 has been brought here, 6 has been brought here. So 6 will be replaced because it was brought in first. So we have 0, 7 and 1. Now 5 is being referred to again a page fault. And if we see 0, 1 and 7, so we can easily see that 7 will be replaced by 5. So this becomes 0, 5 and 1. 1. Now there is a reference for 4. Out of 0, 5 and 1, 5, 0 and 1, 1 will be replaced. So we can replace 1 by 4 which has caused a page fault again. Again 6 will cause a page fault. So now out of these 0, 5 and 4, we can see that 0 was the page that was brought in earlier, so it will be replaced by 6, so 6, 5 and 4. Again, there is a reference for 2 which causes a page fault again. Out of 6, 5 and 4, you can see that 5 was brought in earlier, so it will be replaced by 2. If we now count the number of page faults, we can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 page faults occurred in when the memory was having only 3 frames and we were using the FIFO page replacement algorithm. Now the advantages of FIFO page replacement algorithm is that is it, it is easy to understand and program but the performance is not always good. So consider a reference string like this, a new reference string. And you can work out this example yourself that if the number of frames were 3, then there are 9 page faults. And if the number of page frames are increased to 4, then there are 10 page faults. What was the expectation? That if the number of frames are increased, then the page faults should decrease. 
so giving more memory that means increasing the number of frames does it really improve the performance but we have seen that for this particular string increasing the number of frames from 3 frames to 4 frames has actually increased the number of page faults. This is referred to as Bellady's anomaly and this is that for some page replacement algorithms the page fault rate may actually increase as the number of allocated frames increases. We will look into more page replacement algorithms in further videos.